Welcome to Real Filmmaking. We're taking the big city today. I am uh, here for a work trip, so I'm in Denver. It's cold. Today, I wanted to talk about composition. I've done a couple videos in the past about composition, but I kind of, you know, in the new year, I wanted to update and kind of do like a compendium, a master class of all the best tips, I think, for basic good composition in your photos and videos. So, let's get started. So I think the most important rule of composition has to be the rule of thirds. And it's a pretty basic foundational rule in composition. And what happens is you take four lines that divide your frame into three parts. And from the division of the frame, you put the most interesting things, like whatever you're taking pictures of or if you're doing video, you put the most interesting things on those lines or on the intersections of those lines. So if you're doing portraits of people, you want their eyes to be at those intersections. If you're taking a picture of something, you know, you want to put it on one of those lines on the thirds, and that helps to balance an image and to draw the audience's attention to that spot. So, rule of thirds, big game changer in getting good, great looking composition. <laughs> next tip I would have about composition has to be the angle that you're shooting things. You know, we see video and pictures taken of, you know, everyday stuff like a fire hydrant the same way all the time and it's not interesting. We've all seen it a million times. Part of making, you know, video and photos look good is they're telling a story. So when you see that object, look at a different way to shoot it, find a different angle, maybe go high above it, maybe shoot from below, maybe put it in a different space in the frame, try different things. And you'll be surprised how just moving your camera to a different place, trying a different angle, really is going to change the feel of the picture or the video that you're shooting. So my next tip is about depth of field. And depth of field is a very helpful tool when you're trying to separate your subject from your background. And this is helpful in video and photography so you can draw attention to whatever the focal point of the picture or video is. A lot of people on YouTube talk about shallow depth of field and how it's awesome and bokeh and all that stuff. But really what you need to know, it's another tool to help you as a filmmaker, as a photographer, to say like, here's my subject and this is what I want you to focus on. So like right now you can see that I'm right here. You can see that I'm in the you know, city, but I'm the focus and everything else is kind of blurred out. So using shallow depth of field, using a range of depth of field to choose what's in focus rather than what is not and to draw attention to certain things can be very helpful as you are putting together different scenes in video and photography. next tip in composition has to do with leading lines and so when you're out in nature uh, cities are actually really good places to find leading lines but you can see as I move the camera and how I frame it that naturally the buildings the contour of this roads back here they pull your eye towards like the back of the frame right here where I'm standing and so doing video and photography you can use this to your advantage to pull your attention to where you want the subject's eye to go. So, leading lines, you find them everywhere, especially in the city. Man, it is very chilly in Denver. Uh, now I'm having this conference here and me and my friend are like, of all the places they could have had this conference in the winter, why Denver, you know? It's a great city, but it's just really cold. Symmetry can be another great tool in composition to help you get some really cool shots. Again, I feel like cities lend themselves very well to symmetrical shots, but if you have a piece of 
architecture or a building or like railings or something where there's something equal on both sides. It can be really cool to put your camera right in the middle of that and to get some really cool shots where you kind of create a frame within a frame. Um, also shooting through things like windows or stuff like that it can be a cool way to implement symmetry into your photos and videos. It's getting cold outside, so I decided to check out this convention center that's right across the street from where I'm staying. So, you know, get warm and learn about whatever is going on here. I have no idea. Well, I hope this fun romp around the city today has been fun, and I hope you've enjoyed this crash course in composition. Hopefully you can take some of these tips and implement them to make your videos and photos look way better, and you know people are excited to watch them. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Real Filmmaking for more content like this coming on a weekly basis. And until next time, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking. I have to find how to get out of here. <laughs>